Have you ever pondered over what it's like to live under the constant threat of war? Today we delve into the escalating crisis in Rafah, Gaza. A city home to about 1.4 million Palestinians, Rafah is under the shadow of an impending offensive planned by the Israeli military. This comes in the wake of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's orders for troops to prepare for an operation in the city. The ongoing conflict has already displaced these Palestinians, leaving them in dire straits. Voices of concern resonate from the global stage. UN humanitarian chief Martin Griffiths warns of an assault on Rafa, potentially claiming even more lives and hampering humanitarian operations. The living conditions are abysmal, as families endure unthinkable hardships in search of safety. Hunger, disease and death stalk these corridors of desperation. Echoing similar sentiments, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres cautions against an exponential increase in what is already a humanitarian nightmare, with untold regional consequences. As the war encroaches on Rafa, the concern for the safety and well-being of its residents intensifies. As the tension mounts, the fear of an impending large-scale disaster looms over Rafa. The Shroud of War has not only brought fear, but also a humanitarian nightmare to the people of Rafa. The once thriving city is now a landscape of despair, with families living under conditions that defy human dignity. UN humanitarian chief Martin Griffiths paints a grim picture of families stalked by hunger, disease and death. The basic necessities of life are no longer a given, they have become a luxury. As the Israeli military gears up for an assault on Rafa, the United Nations warns of a potential large-scale loss of civilian lives. Imagine a city already reeling under the weight of displacement and destitution, now facing the threat of an indiscriminate bombing. Such an act in densely populated areas could potentially amount to war crimes, warns the UN's humanitarian agency, OCHA. Rafa, a city on the edge, is not just a strategic point in the conflict, but also home to hundreds of thousands of Palestinians caught in the crossfire. Their search for safety has led them to an even more precarious situation, a situation that the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warns could exponentially increase what is already a humanitarian nightmare. With such warnings, the world watches with bated breath as the situation in Rafa teeters on the brink of disaster. In the face of such a crisis, the question remains, what can we do to help? The answer lies in our collective power to raise awareness about the unfolding catastrophe in Rafa. Each tweet, each post, each conversation has the potential to echo across borders, reaching the eyes and ears of those who can drive change. We need to put the spotlight on Rafa to ensure that its plight isn't lost in the shuffle of global news. International pressure can be a formidable force, capable of swaying the actions of governments. It's a call for humanity, for the respect of human rights. It can be the impetus for peace talks, for ceasefires, for the protection of innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. But awareness alone isn't enough. The people of Rafa need tangible support. They need food, medicine, clean water. The basics that many of us take for granted. Humanitarian aid organizations are doing their best to provide these essentials, but they need our help too. Donations can make a significant difference, enabling these organizations to reach more people, to save more lives. Each one of us holds the power to make a difference. Share this message, raise awareness, and stand in solidarity with the people of Rafa. Their survival may depend on it.